Tornado Alley. More tornadoes occur here than any other place on the planet. They produce the highest winds ever recorded and are capable of turning everyday objects into missiles and turning houses into rubble. On the evening of December 26, 2015, deadly tornadoes struck several North Texas communities, including the city of Rowlett, where seven residents survived in a safe room this man built for his family. Okay, so this is our uh, tornado shelter. We uh, we built this about a year and a half ago. You couldn't, when the tornado came, you couldn't even feel any movement in here at all. It was, uh, it was pretty incredible. Uh, nobody really knew what happened until we opened the doors and then the lightning hit, and we could see all the, you know, see all the houses, and everything was just gone. To survive, you have to adapt to the environment in which you live. For residents of Tornado Alley, that means keeping track of changing weather and having a safe place to go when storms approach. Sadly, there are few cities in this portion of the country that have established residential building codes which address the forces of a tornado. You know, when you think of a storm shelter, you might think of an old-fashioned below-ground storm cellar full of rattlesnakes, spiders, and salamanders. Well, things have changed, and today we're going to be looking at an engineered above-ground safe room. They're easy to install, even in an existing home like this. Thanks to careful engineering, there are convenient shelter options available today. In this episode, I'll introduce you to the above-ground manufactured safe room. You can place it almost anywhere in your home or office. They come in many sizes to fit your needs. For my home, I selected a 4 by 7 foot shelter, which provides enough space for my family, dogs, and two lucky friends. 1,800 pounds of sexy A36 steel arrive on a flatbed, courtesy of Missouri Storm Shelters, who designed and manufactured the unit. The team will install the safe room in the corner of my garage. This safe room features extensive internal skeletal framework and continuous welding along the top and bottom. Fifteen base bolts measuring three quarters of an inch in diameter anchor the unit to the foundation, which is constructed of steel reinforced concrete. Pullout strength is over 10,000 pounds per bolt, with a shear strength of 17,000 pounds each. These specifications exceed the forces that would be placed on the safe room during an EF5 rated tornado. One of the key components of this shelter is the door. And of course the door has to be just as strong as the rest of the safe room. You start with a basic latch, which isn't enough. It just closes the door and holds it closed slightly. But the real protection comes with these bolts. We've got three of them here. You activate them and what you end up getting is a very strong closure. So why does the door open inward like that? There's a very good reason. It's called entrapment. That's something that we don't want. And by the door coming in like that, it reduces the chance of you being trapped by debris. So if it were to open outward, and there was debris just outside the door, like a, like a collapsed wall, for instance, or a roof, uh, then you wouldn't be able to open the door. So it, it always opens inward on a good shelter. It's very important to keep in mind if you buy one already made or if you build your own. An important thing to keep in mind is that each manufactured shelter should be certified by NSSA, which is the National Storm Shelter Association. This particular label does have a serial number on it that does apply to this particular shelter. So make sure that any manufactured safe room or storm shelter that you purchase does have the NSSA label on it. If you live in an area where tornadoes are frequent, you should consider getting your own shelter. But start the process now, as it takes some time to complete. First, check to see if there are storm shelter funds available from local or federal agencies. Be aware that it can take several years, in some cases, just to be approved. So start now. We received assistance from the North Central Texas Council of Governments Shelter Program, which paid for a portion of our safe room. If you don't want to wait for assistance, then pay for the shelter on your own. It will add value to your home and, most importantly, protect your family. Next, decide what type of shelter you need. It can be a manufactured safe room or one built at the site using FEMA construction guidelines, which are available online. 
If you purchase a pre-built unit, make sure it is certified by the National Storm Shelter Association. Some funding programs and local code require this certification, and it's a way to be sure your shelter is tornado worthy. It's important that you install your shelter so that it can be easily and quickly accessed. I strongly recommend it be accessible directly from the interior of your home or business. Finally, make your shelter a comfortable place to be to encourage everyone to use it when storms approach.